Hey guys, Kevin Smiley here, Abilene Middle School, and I'm going to tell you about Videolicious for this next episode of my five new technologies. Uh, I've seen Videolicious work before. I haven't ever used it in my class, but I just heard of it a little while ago and wanted to share it. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, Videolicious can be free for individual students and families and uh, is very simple to do. I had a colleague just show me this the other day, and so how it works is awesome uh, and super simple. You just sign up and get your account, and step one, choose your shots. You, it takes you to your camera roll, and you just click, 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 click the images that you want to use in this presentation. So whether it is a family photo album or images you've taken from Google and just have saved to your camera roll, something like that, it's just that easy. Step two, um, you tell your story. And so as you can see right here, you start to voice record and audio record over the image that will be in the presentation. For whatever reason, when the, my colleague showed me this big screen was just um, a live video of her talking into the iPad, while this little thumbnail is the image that will be portrayed on the screen. So that was backwards to me, but it's the way it is. Um, when you're ready to skip to the next image or slide, you just click on it and it takes you takes over to this screen so you just click through the images as fast or as slow as you need to go and you're just talking the whole time and it's putting it in there at the pace you want to use. Get rid of that. Step three, you select any background music that you want to use in this presentation. I'm sure you could skip that if you wanted to. And then step four, you're ready to go. It plays it. And uh, it was incredibly simple. She showed me uh, the colleague that showed me this used to teach third grade and she said they did it there. Uh, my wife does first grade and she's done it before with first graders. So it's good for all ages. Now the way I would tie it in for um, older kids or even younger kids is just have them write a script. Have them physically write what they're going to say so you can incorporate more written activities into your lesson plans and still use that writing component. But uh, Videolicious lets them use the visual images enforce some writing activities and research upon them to get their information and could really be a great tool to use in your classroom and it can be absolutely free so I hope that helps and um, check it out